Hello, and welcome to today's stream. How's everyone doing today? I hope that everybody's doing very well. So today we're going to be playing a visual novel that is early access. So it's not even, I'm not even able to tag it sadly on Twitch. But it's called Winning Love by Daylight. Here's a little bit of information about it as of the about section. It's early access as I said so it's still sort of being developed. So we might see some changes from this game in the future. But we're going to start now. Oh, I just realised I need to turn back on the volume first, actually. <laughs> I forgot. Okay, let's see if we can go back to the menu. We can. And we can turn up the volume. Do, 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 do. Let me know if there's any issues with the volume at all. This is just going to be a little cosy stream with myself. So I hope that everybody's ready for some fun gaming time. If you don't know us, or at least don't know myself, this is Made in Scotland, Twitch. We are a maid cafe based in the UK, but we travel all over Europe and we have members from all over Europe. We normally do events and lots of other awesome things. So hopefully you'll get to see us at some point in the future at an event. We can say hello. But over on here, we do anime tier lists, gaming, lots of fun on awesome content. We also have a YouTube and a TikTok and an Instagram and all that stuff that you can follow. There are links below. My, me, myself, I am Maid Kumo. I'm the resident witch of Maiden Scotland. So if you are new here, please feel free to come and stay. We have recently become affiliate, as lovely Alex RF Games in chat said. We have recently just passed the affiliate. So we are doing learning lots of awesome new things about Twitch and we are doing lots of awesome new stuff that we're going to hopefully release soon. We don't currently have any emotes yet, but we do have channel points, which you can use to do awesome and cute things. <laughs> so we hope that you can stay around and enjoy with us. Okay. Return. There we go. So Let's just get straight into it, shall we? You started the day early and wondered about the quiet corridors if you talk to your first if you walk to your first class. Only a few students are here, as mostly teachers hurry about prepping for their first classes. Stopping by your locker, you grab the book for your first class, then pop into the classroom after you had detention yesterday, you're not keen to get into any more trouble. Oh, you're early too. Oh my goodness, I love their dress. It's so cute. This is also my first time playing through this, by the way. So I don't exactly know what's going to happen. So I'm also in the dark. So I'll get to find out with you guys. <laughs> you watch Emily examine you closely with a sly smile. You recognize her from detention yesterday, but you haven't really spoken to each other before. I was hoping I'd get a chance to talk to you after we were in detention together. What did you even do to get in trouble? Okay, so we get to decide what we did to get in trouble. I love to have you guys input as well. We could fidget nervously. Uh, see, an accidental fire in the science lab. Or I was late to class again. I'll give you guys a minute to see what you think. Also, if you know the reference that this game is titled for, then you will maybe get a little bit of a clue about what's coming up. <laughs> I think we should maybe go with... Hmm. Fidgets nervously feels like a bit of a cop-out answer. I was late to class, is nice. Sorry, I just opened my water bottle and I saw the spike on the, on the audio. I'm so sorry. Is late to class seems like the not super bad answer. <laughs> but an accidental fire in a science lab sounds like it could have been really bad. I think we'll say I was late to class again. Yeah, that's what they got me for too, and I'm here just as early as you. 
She sighs, pauses and lets out a yawn. But I guess it's just you and me for a minute. What's your name again? Oh, we get to put in our name. Our name is Kumo. Yes. Oh yeah, Kumo, that's right. I'm so bad with names. Uh-huh. The teacher walks in and starts erasing the last lesson. Last lesson's notes off the board as the other students slowly trickle in. Emily, later, Kumo. You're too tired to pay close attention to the class because you were up late playing video games again. The bell rings and you wander out slowly, following everyone. Ooh, that feels a little bit too true. <laughs> you spot Emily, stopped at a locker in the hallway, talking to your friend Maya, who keeps you up late. La who kept you up late last night to grind for loot in the new RPG you've been playing together, Castle. Castle Calarox. Ooh, cool name. Maya pulls a silly face at you and then they both walk to their next class. You grab your next book out of your locker and head into the same classroom. You've known Maya for a few years now. She lives across the street from you, above a, con a convenience store. She stands out because she is always carrying her laptop. I like the laptop. I noticed the stickers on the laptop. I got very distracted by the stickers on the laptop. I also love putting stickers over everything I own. She stands out because she is always carrying her laptop around, which makes the occasional distracting beep and has a huge yellow puffy coat. I do like her coat too. Her coat's very cute. You mosey over to your seat and join the other students as they are milling in. Teacher, students, I'd like to introduce you to our new student joining us today. A student with a huge jumper and long black boots stands up at the front of the classroom, smiling but a little shy. No one seems to notice that she's very obviously a demon. <laughs> very obviously a demon. Just, you know, very obviously a demon, just didn't even notice it. <laughs> just ignoring the, the, bearing the lead a little bit there. Hmm? <laughs> So we have a very obviously demon person in our class. Ooh. You try not to stare. This is a uh, Molo. It's Molly Miss. The teacher sighs and barely looks up from their desk, mentally preparing for the class to begin. Sure thing, take a seat, Molly, and I'll maybe get that sunburn looked at, yes? The teacher doesn't even seem to notice anything weird about the, nudes, the new student. You wonder if you're the only person seeing them. Class drags on with the teacher, droning on about wacky things that happened in history. One student in particular, who you think is pretty new as well, seems to constantly ask questions. Taking a glance over at Molly, you see that she's practically hiding under her hoodie and barely paying attention to the teacher. The bell rings and you follow everyone out into the hallway, again to put your books back into your locker. Oh, I had a little yawn there. An impatient face appears beside you. Gyun. Oh, I like Gyun's, uh... Oh, I forgot what they're called. Checkered shirt. I like, uh, I like the shirt. It's very cute. You're in my way. You look up to match your gaze, but you're completely distracted by the huge sword she's carrying by her side. I didn't even notice the sword! Oh my goodness! How the heck did she get a sword in here? Through the metal detectors. Your puzzled and stunned face doesn't stop her from nudging you aside to get into her locker. You watch silently as she throws her things inside and then hurries off. You can't be sure but you think the sword somehow just pulled an obscene face at you. Entering the, cafe entering the cafeteria for lunch a bit late you find it's already pretty crowded. We want to sit with Maya and Emily, sit with Molly who's by herself, sit with Kyun who was just rude to us or sit by herself. We have a couple options here if anybody has any idea what they want to do. I'll give you a minute while I hydrate. <laughs> I think we should go and sit with Molly. 
Molly seems like they might be lonely because they're brand new and there's something very interesting about the fact that only we seem to know that they're a demon. So we'll go and sit with Molly. You decide to go over and sit with Molly who's sitting by herself. As you approach her table, she barely notices you. She seems to be staring off into space. Hmm. Uh, hey Molly. She looks over to you shyly as you sit across from her. She gently pulls back her hood and you can see her small red horns poking through her hair. She catches you staring at them and looks away. Awkwardly, you try and stir up a conversation. Molly looks up at you as you ask and tries to smile encouragingly. I should have realised I should have read that out loud. I didn't realise it wouldn't show it again. Sorry. <laughs> Slow, I guess. It's definitely a chance for... It's definitely a change from what I'm used to. Where did you transfer from? Um, you watch as she fidgets uncomfortably. That was probably a dumb question. She's a demon, right? She's probably from hell or somewhere equally unple unpleasant. Florida. You try not to look shocked at the answer. I've never been. Did you like it there? It's okay. I do feel a bit weird being all the way out here. But it's certainly very quiet. Commander Alice, hello! Welcome to chat! How are you today? How's everyone in chat today? I hope everybody's having a very good day and I hope everybody's feeling very cosy and comfy on the stream today. <laughs> Let's awkwardly sit in silence with our new demon friend. You both sit there, comfortable, comfort, comfort, comfortably in silence, listening to the sound of the other students excited chattering. She puts one earbud in to listen to some music and gives you a gentle smile. You both enjoy the relaxing lunchtime in the cafeteria and Molly seems to be appreciative not being completely alone on her first day. She also probably appreciates not being bothered about her appearance either. Well I'm glad that you're having a nice little break. I'm glad you're getting to see people again as well. Just remember to do it safely if you're going to be going out there and seeing your friends. <laughs> you're good? That's awesome. I'm so glad to hear it. I'm very happy to hear that everybody seems to be doing well at the moment. Uh, yes. The bell goes off and you both get sw swept away from the cafeteria through the crowd of other students. Looking back, you manage to flash each other a little smile as you stumble out. You don't have any classes left for the day, so you can go home early. One of the perks of being about to graduate. You take your regular shortcut towards your house through the cluster of trees behind the school. The suburb you live in is pretty rural, so apart from the occasional wildlife, it's a quiet place to be. Your place is on the main road, but a little way down from where most of the shops are, so you're lucky to have the convenience store across the street. As you walk along, you spot another student seemingly hiding behind one of the rocks. Um, hey there. Ah! I didn't know what they looked like, so I don't want to like do like a big scream in case they were like a little tiny child or something. <laughs> Willow, ah, it's just a kid. I thought you were a teacher. Willow, whom you have a class with on Tuesdays, turns away from you to pick up a potted plant. I love their outfit. Oh my goodness, they're so cute. We have the same glasses. <laughs> Apart from mine's are black and theirs are, theirs are gold. Are you skipping class or something? Yes, psh, don't tell anyone. She blushes a bit. Skipping classes doesn't seem to be something she does often. It's a woodworking class. I just couldn't bear to drill holes in, in it and glue it to some strange things. She shudders, thinking about it. As you look closer, you see a strange creature in the pocket of her overalls. I didn't even notice that. Oh my goodness, it's so cute. It's little smile. It's adorable. <laughs> you decide not to think about it. Today has been too weird already. Commander Alice, thank you so much for subscribing with Prime. We have to get a subscribe little notification thing <laughs> sorted. <laughs> Sorry, we don't have one yet. Thank you so, so much for subscribing. It's so good to, ha good to have you here at the cafe. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Eh, you say not to talk about it. Today has been too weird already. Don't worry, I'll keep your secrets or say nothing and keep walking. What do we think, chat? Do we want to say nothing and keep walking? Or do we want to c 
confide in them and let them know that we're a good friend who'll keep all their secrets. I think we should keep their secret. What does chat think? Do you guys have any idea? I think it'd be nice to keep a, a new friend secret. I'll give a moment for lag to catch up. Say nothing and keep their secret. I don't think we can say nothing and keep their secret. I think we either have to don't worry and keep their secret or say nothing and keep walking. <laughs> but saying nothing and keeping their secret would be a great a great middle ground. <laughs> let's let's keep their secret then. Since it's yeah. Don't worry, I'll keep your secret. Thanks. You slowly trudge through the tree clogged path and get back to your house. It's okay, you don't have to know. I just like getting your guys' input so we can all take part. <laughs> your parents aren't home yet and it's already started to get dark pretty early in the day. You heat up some of the last night's leftover lasagna and carry it up to your room. We have a beautiful room, oh my goodness. I really love the art in this game. I don't think... I mentioned at the start but this game is actually part of a webcomic so there's a webcomic this game and a board game coming out for it and they're all like part of the same universe and it's early access so it's still very new and the art's absolutely beautiful I've not read the webcomic this is my first time playing through this and I don't know much about the board game but I was just really interested in it knowing the reference to Sailor Moon in the title and seeing all the beautiful art so we'll see if there's maybe any more references to Sailor Moon throughout this. Let's have a little, a little play and see. <laughs> what should I get up to? Oh, we get to pick, okay. Play some Castle Cal Caliroxis. I think that's where I was pronounced it earlier, I can't remember. With Maya. Study, there's finals coming up soon. Finish eating, then go to sleep. Today has been a weird enough day. Do we have any idea what we should do in chat? We have play a game with our friend who we were up all night playing games with the night before. <laughs> Study. Or finish eating and sleep. Because today has been a weird enough day. Which I think is quite the mood, to be honest. <laughs> I think we should study. But then again, we might be late again and get the detention again. So if we go to sleep, that might be good for our character. But if we don't study, oh my god, we might fail. Oh no. I think we'll go with study. Because there are finals coming up. We'll study. Sleep or study? Okay. We'll study. You decide to re resist the allure of your latest video game venture and open up some of your study books and catch up on some of your coursework. Hopefully this means that your final soon will be less stressful. Hopefully. Your alarm goes off and you silence it with a groan. You're a little tired still, but at least you got a bunch to at least you got a chance to study last night. Looking around, you quick quickly throw on some clean clothes and head downstairs. Oh, this is our mum! Were you up late playing video games again, Kumo? We were not. We studied because we are big grown-ups. <laughs> To do grown up things. <laughs> nah, I actually caught up on some of my notes. Got finals coming up in a few weeks. That doesn't sound like you at all. You must be pretty worried about the upcoming finals, huh? I just want to be prepared, that's all. Mum pushes the materials to make your own bowl of cereal to you across the table while she finishes up her own breakfast. Anything exciting happening at school ha anything exciting happened at school yesterday? I met a few new people who I hadn't really talked to before. Anyone interesting? Should we talk about meeting Emily in the morning? Or should we talk about the new student, Molly? Hmm. It is, it's super cute, Beloved Black. It's super duper duper cute. 
We have our choice. Do we want to talk about Molly or Emily? Molly, remember, is the demon girl and Emily is one of our friend's friends, it seems, and they're in a class with us. Who should we talk about? Hmm. If we talk about Molly, I don't know if that means that we'll give away that they're a demon. Which I, I don't think, I don't think we, maybe we, we might give away that they're a demon, which I don't know if we should do. But we only met Emily very briefly in the morning. And we got to sit and talk to Molly and Molly seemed very nice. Demon girl. Okay, we'll talk about demon girl. So, Molly. Yeah, the new student Molly was introduced in one of my classes today. Well, that would have been yesterday. I probably shouldn't mention that she looks like a demon. Okay, we're not going to mention it. Woo, we saved her. Okay, good. <laughs> She's pretty shy, but I guess that's understandable since it's her first day here. We should try and talk to her more and be her friend. She could probably use someone to help her get settled. That's a good idea. Finishing up your breakfast, you stagger back upstairs to finish getting ready for school, then head out walking through your usual shortcut through the woods. You end up, ar you end up arriving at school early again, while not many people are around yet. You wonder if Emily is here early again as well. No one seems to be here, so you decide to get comfortable in your seat and get your books out for a minute or two to quick of quick study. I don't know why I was struggling there for a second. <laughs> Catching up on some notes. Uh, yeah, you just want to get through some notes quickly before class. I'm Alana. I've only been here a little while, but I think we've got two classes together. You wonder why so many people keep coming to this school right towards the end of the year. You remember seeing her in one of your history classes. She was the one asking so many questions. You any good at history? I'm super interested in it, but there's so much to take in. Oh, I love that. She looks so cute. Want to tutor me? I can help you with maths or something. She pulls a cute face at you as she asks, hoping it'll help you say yes. I love it. It's super, super cute. That could be good. I do okay in history class. Awesome, come find me in the library after school sometime. Yeah, I can do that. You both smile at each other before settling down into your own seats. The teacher wanders in as a few other students have already taken their seats around the classroom. Looking around the classroom, you spot a few familiar faces, specifically Molly, who you sat and had lunch with yesterday. Yay, Molly again. As you're looking over at her, you smile and wave. I absolutely love Molly's design, they're super cute. <laughs> She gives you a big smile back and waves quickly before returning her attention to the teacher. I know, the cute face has to automatically be the puppy dog look. <laughs> the little tongue out. <laughs> the teacher then begins to drone on about what will be on the final exam. You listen intently, but often you find yourself curious as to what the other students are doing. The bell rings after a long, boring class. Before you all run off to your next class, don't forget the prom is coming up soon, so make sure you get your tickets or you're going to miss out. Oh yeah, the prom. I should probably figure out who I'm going to ask the prom. You follow the rest of your classmates into the hall to get your books for the next class. You see June walking up the hallway towards you and her locker. You're in my way again. She seems just as grumpy as she was yesterday. Um, sorry. Go easy on Kumo June. Emily just showed up out of nowhere seems to and seems to have your back. June barely reacts and quietly trudges off to her next class. Sorry about her, she's going through some family stuff at the moment. It's cool, I'm not upset or anything. We're actually good friends, not that you'd notice. You notice the corridor has emptied as the next class is about to start. Ah, I'm going to be late for class again. I better run. Thanks, though. You scoop your books out of your locker and zip up, zip to your next class. You walk into your next class late to a withering stare from your teacher. As I was saying, P.E. Burkett said colours seen together to produce a pleasing effect, res effective response are said to be in harmony. 
and humans have the ability to perceive 2.8 million different colours. I like our teacher's broccoli hoodie. The broccoli hoodie is quite a style choice. I I've decided I'm quite a fan of the broccoli hoodie. Therein, it becomes quite difficult to accurately choose a palette that will adequately conv convey the feeling to the audience that you're intending. Those are a lot of big words. <laughs> Some theorists and artists believe just juxtaposition of complementary colours will produce a strong contrast, a sense of visual tension, as well as colour harmony. While others believe juxtaposition of analogue colours will elicit a positive aesthetic response, ensuring that you are paying attention to what colours you are using. You look down at the few notes that you have scribbled on your sketchbook, but only, you only signed up for the art class for final year, thinking it would be a cruisy experience, but you were mistaken. Looking over to the desk next to you, you can see Sophie, vividly sketching a picture of something brown? It's probably too early to guess what it is. You spend some time working on sketches of your own. I think I skipped something there by accident. I'm so sorry if I could skip the part of the story. <laughs> Looking around the cafeteria, you notice a few people at different tables that you recognise. Okay, who should we sit with today? We have... Uh, Molly, who is the demon girl. We have our bestie, Maya, who we spend a lot of time gaming with. We have Willow and Sophie. We have... Willow is the person that we that lied for who had the plant in the woods who was skipping school and June and her sword and Emily who's sitting with someone you haven't met yet hmm we have a couple choices art is a difficult subject I agree big time I'm going to drop a hydrate time in the chat so that I have to hydrate and that you guys do too and just remind you guys we have channel points which you can spend to have us do things on this end. <laughs> so if you are sitting with a drink right now, it is hydrate time. Time to take a nice big sip, okay? We want to sit and have a nice cozy stream and keep everybody happy and healthy. Okay. So we have our choices. We haven't met who Emily's with, which means we get to meet a new character. You want to sit with Emily and meet the new character? Okay, let's do this. You decide to go and sit with Emily. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> As you approach, you notice that Emily is sitting with someone you haven't met yet. Uh, hey. Hey, Kumo. This is Kiana. Kiana is so pretty, oh my goodness. Hey, Emily mentioned she met you yesterday morning and you were a bit of a slacker. Uh-huh. Kiana looks off to one side, suddenly distracted. It was nice to meet you, but I have to run off. I've got to talk business with Willow. Kiana slips away, leaving you with Emily. What kind of business does she mean? I think she, she was just being silly. Anyway, have you decided if you're going to ask the prom yet? I'm not sure. There's just so many people interested in me. <laughs> oh yeah, Captain Popular over here. She is so, so pretty. So many of them are so pretty. <laughs> not really. I'm probably not going to go. Dances aren't really my thing. Might just ditch it and hang out with Maya and play video games or something. Surely there's someone that, that would want to, to have you along for a dance or two? Maybe. The bell rings and you start to head off to your final class. Just ask someone. You never know who's just waiting for you to ask. Maybe I should ask Emily to prom. Was she just dropping hints at me? You head out to your locker to get your books for the next class. As you're settled into your last class for the day, the teacher's already running through the class at top speed. All students are furiously scribbling to try and keep up with them. I can't keep up, keep up with the note-taking pace. You don't seem to bother keeping up. The year's almost over anyway. Okay now, choose a partner to continue working on this among yourselves. You look around at who your partner should be. Kiana who's sitting at the desk next to me. Molly who's sitting at the back by herself. And Sophie who looks like she needs a partner. Molly is the demon girl. We just talked, just met Kiana in the hallway. Uh, just met Kiana at lunch. 
I would also ask em I'd ask all of them to prom. They're all wonderful. <laughs> and I can't remember who Sophie was. Oh no, who was Sophie again? <laughs> I've known these people for five minutes and I can't remember their name. <laughs> oh no. So should we catch back up with Molly, our demon friend? Get to know Kiana a little bit better. Or go talk to Sophie, who looks like she needs the partner. And we could help her out. Hmm. Hmm. What does Kiat think? Do you guys have any idea what we should do? We just have so many beautiful friends now. <laughs> It's hard to pick someone. Molly maybe, I think so. We haven't talked to Molly in a little bit now. Yeah, the teacher rushing through the class. It feels like Professor Ublek uh, from Ruby, yeah. The amount of coffee he's drank, definitely. I think that teacher has places to be. <laughs> Mood, absolutely. Let's go with Molly. You decide to approach Molly. Hey, need a partner? Um, yeah. I am the same. I also don't like choices. I, I completely feel that, Alice. I am. Um, <laughs> I prefer to just watch everybody be happy and not make any choices. <laughs> Did you catch what we were supposed to be doing? Not really. I'm not very good at this sort of thing. I'm a picture, not a words person. That I totally get. I'm the same, would rather play a video game than read a book. Yeah. What did you want to do then? Why don't we just try and write something together? Oh yeah? It doesn't have to be good, just make an attempt. So it's supposed to be about our life as a high school student? What should we start with? Oh, what should we start with? Oh, we get to write it! Ooh. Um, our life as a high school student is hard work. <laughs> I think that's a mood we can all vibe with, that high school is hard work. <laughs> I think that's a big mood. Okay, if we send this, does it make us write more or, will, or do we just write a little bit? <laughs> I think we can all definitely vibe with it being hard work. The games you have to pick who gets to live make me so sad because I love everyone so much. <laughs> okay, so we got high school is hard work. And then what? Um, art is... Art is... That's a big mood. <laughs> High school being hard work is a vibe. I was 100% a vibe. <laughs> Art is also hard work, but is pretty. I think that's also a mood. <laughs> Art is also hard work, but is pretty. What do we end with? So we've, so far we've got high school is hard work. Art is also hard work, but it's pretty. Hmm. What should we end it with? Hmm. Oh my goodness. So many options. <laughs> Let's do something like art and high school or goodness i don't even know what to put i feel like a very, a very put on the spot hmm. life is hard work let's do that life is hard work the end <laughs> there we go molly and kumo are you ready to present yours to the class oh no we have to read this in front of the class <laughs> oh no I sent it to quick to put but, but school is just a part of it. That would have been great as well. <laughs> but but life is hard work is a good ender. <laughs> uh, come up the front and read out what you have said. Uh, what you have, please. 
Molly shuffles up to the front. A hip. Our life as a high school student is hard work. Art is also hard work, but it is pretty. Life is hard work. The end. The teacher makes a weird face at you both. Before you could receive any feedback, the bell rings and all the students start to pack their things. I don't know if that affected the game, but it was fun. <laughs> Molly shoots you a look of relief and you both head out. <laughs> the teacher gives you a frown as you walk out of the classroom. Oh no. <laughs> well, that's it for your class today. What are you going to do this afternoon? Oh yeah, we're going to help tutor Alana. Let's do that. You decide to head over to the town's library to study with Alana. The school doesn't have one as it is pretty small, but the town's library is fairly cosy and not that far away. As you walk, through the different areas of the library, you notice Alana sitting down in a big armchair reading through a textbook. If it does affect the game, that would be really funny. It would be very funny. <laughs> Later on, someone's like, so life's hard work, huh? And it's like, oh no, we did that. <laughs> she lights up as she sees you approach. Hey, Kumo. You wave quietly. Uh, we wave quietly over to her, and you both move into one of the study rooms. So what did you want to work on? You watch Alana put down the textbook. Well, I was wondering if I could ask you a question. Or I was wondering if I could, just, if I could ask you questions about stuff I might have missed. Sure, whatever works. Um, Why did the Romans need to build aqueducts? Isn't there water underground? They didn't have a nearby water source. Aqueducts water supplied public baths, latrines, fountains and private households. It also supported mining operations, milling, farms and gardens to make some neat water slides. Oh no. Yeah, so you think Art is Pretty just comes up later. But also, this is like, I don't have, I don't have big brain. I don't remember why they had. Well, I know what aqueducts do. But I don't remember exactly why Romans had them. I think it's the middle one. <laughs> that is that is a big mood. That is also the explanation I would also give. <laughs> but I can't. I literally can't remember. Oh no! But I don't know if it affects it either. <laughs> but I want to help her as much as I can. Is it the second one? I thought it was the second one, but I could not remember. Second one. Ah, okay. So they would move it to where they needed it. That's. That, there's, that's a lot of different uses. Wow, you really did study. Why couldn't they just carry water from the ocean? Isn't your planet like mostly water? Wait, our planet? I think you slipped up. Well, you can't drink ocean water for a start. Okay then. Alana looks down at her notes before asking you another question. What caused the fall of Rome? I know this one. The arrival of the Huns and the migration of the barbarian tribes such as the Visigoths Economic troubles, over reliance on slave labor, over reliance on slave labor, and over expansion and military overspending. Maybe I don't know this one. I feel like I just got thrown. I felt like I knew this one. I forgot what the question was. If you're like me and you get nervous when you're asked questions, this isn't the best game. Oh no, I don't, I don't remember which one it is all of a sudden. I don't remember what the question was either all of a sudden. Oh no. <laughs> I can look at the history and see what she said. Uh, the fall of Rome. That's what it was. That's what it was. Fall of Rome. I'm pretty sure the fall of Rome was the economic troubles. Because I'm pretty sure it was all financial and intellectual. It wasn't like bar barbarians and tribes and thing I think it was this one. Oh my god I, I can't remember oh I feel like I'm in the school class <laughs> oh no <laughs> I think it was this one slaves oh yeah most of the ancient world was built with slaves with slaves that's horrifying well it's illegal now so I wouldn't be too worried about it humans were barbaric for a long time they sure were why is Rome important to earth history anyway one second you flip through the textbook knowing that there was a summary page somewhere that answered that question. I actually love history, so I feel like I should know a lot of this. 
I think so too. I think it's to do with them con- com- uh, conquering Europe too. And I think I think a big part of it was the financial downfall. So I think that was correct. I hope he's given her the correct information. If she fails because of us, I'm going to feel so bad. Oh no. Oh, I really hope she doesn't fail because of us. Okay, so it seems like I, I picked the right one. Okay, I really hope she doesn't fail because of us. Oh no. <laughs> uh, yes, uh, after a few pages of flicking through... After a few seconds of flicking through pages, you find the passage. Well, during the time of the Empire, significant developments were also advanced in the fields of medicine, law, religion, government and warfare. The Romans were adept at borrowing from and improving upon those inventions or concepts they found among the indigenous populace of the regions they conquered. Human history is complicated, it really is. Hello, welcome to chat. I don't know how to pronounce your name, but <laughs> welcome to chat. Esky Triku? Triku, I think, is the best I can do. Welcome to chat. <laughs> Alana pauses, just studying your face for a moment. Do you like learning about history? I do. I actually do, yes. It's stuff that actually happened, and it's important to get a sense of where we came from as people. But it also gives perspective of how far we've come. Well, I guess that's true. There's just so much to take in, so many different people, so many different conflicts, and more. Alana looks away and sees the night sky through the window. Okay, I'm just going to call you Connor then. <laughs> I'm just going to call you Connor. <laughs> I read it as Sergeant Riku, but that's me separating it. Uh, separating it between SQT. Ah, yes, it could be Sergeant Riku. It is Sergeant Riku. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to chat. <laughs> she pauses just to stare at the stars. It's getting dark. I should get going. Yeah, good idea. Let's get you home. Leaving the library, you find that it's already darker than you thought. I'll walk you back to your place. Thanks. And thanks for coming and helping out. I appreciate the company. It's been difficult adjusting to my new home. Kiana's fantastic and I appreciate her taking me in. But it's not just, it's, it's just not a home, you know. I get it. What's it like for you back home? Crowded, I'm from the biggest city in Tal- 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 Taloria, thank you so much for the, the the Prime subscription. Oh my goodness, thank you. Welcome to the cafe. I will definitely need to get a subscription notification up. I wonder if she's an alien. That's what I'm thinking. Because she said my own planet too. I think we've sloughed it out. <laughs> There's huge buildings everywhere. Tons of traffic. And it's hard to see the stars because of it all. I miss a lot of the little things like the food I would have regu- regularly and a lot of stuff you have here is so sweet. Oh yeah, a lot of sugar and everything. <laughs> Alana pauses and looks over at you. I'm glad I left too. My people are being torn apart by war and I saw too much fighting up close. I had a tangle with one of the scariest warlords of my people and I end up here by accident while trying to escape. That's horrible, I hope you're okay. I hope you come to love this new home as much as Talria. It certainly has its own beauty. Alana stops out the front of one of the houses. We're here. Kiana spots you through the open garage door at the side of the house and comes over. Hey Kumo. How did studying go, Alana? Kumo is super smart and was really helpful. Super smart and really helpful. Did you hear that, guys? We did it. <laughs> That's great. Kiana turns around to walk back inside. I'll catch you later, okay? Thanks for walking me home. Alana waves as she walks inside with Kiana. You start walking home, back to your place. It isn't that far from here. What a day. You settle into bed exhausted. It was cool studying with Alana tonight. She seemed to appreciate the help, but I can't seem to shake the feeling that she definitely is not from this planet. We slipped it. <laughs> Chat worked it out too. We got this. She seems just like any other person though. It's hard to tell. Maybe if I get a chance to talk to her more, I'll find out what's going on. 
You wake up groggy from a big day yesterday. Rolling over, you see the alarm displaying an alarming number. I'm late! You throw on some clothes and scoop up your bag. Hurrying through the kitchen, you grab a snack and shoot out through the door. Shuffling into the first class of the day, barely on time, you slump into a chair, still tired from yesterday. The teacher slowly walks in and sets up their laptop at their desk and starts preparing their lesson notes. You're all distracted as the PA system crackles to life. I know you attend this school. You want to be superheroes. Oh, we have a, I think we have a villain. Oh my goodness. You invaded my crypt and destroyed the beginning of my skeleton army and you will be ma made to regret it. I will find out who you all are and expose your secret to the world. Anyone not found to be a regular school student should fear my scrutinous eyes. I will find you all and expose you so that my undead uprising shall turn you all into skeletons for the skeleton army. The PA cuts out and you see everyone awkwardly looking around at each other. The teacher lets out a big sigh. Let's ignore that bizarre practical joke and get back to the class, shall we? You wonder who could potentially be the superheroes they met. Could Molly, a demon, be a superhero? Is Willow having a weird forest friend a superpower? The day, the day you daydream through most of the class, the announcement leaving you confused and anxious. The bell rings and all the students pile into the now crowded hallway, students all bustling and chattering about the announcement. Skeleton war! Yeah, <laughs> that's what I was getting from it too. <laughs> Maya squishes for the crowd to pop up next to you. Is it you? Huh? Oh hey! Are you the superhero? I think you'd notice if I was a superhero by now. We spend enough time together and I don't exactly vanish to the town's phone booth that often. I bet you would wear a super dorky costume too. So what yourself like Spider-Man too. It would be a super cool superhero. I'd be a super cool superhero. If I was one. You could totally be the superhero. I'm be <laughs> is being better than you at video games a superpower? That was a roast. We have been roasted by our friend. <laughs> yes. You both laugh and the bell rings again, causing the hallway to start emptying. Lunch? Yeah, I'm right behind you. I'll grab a free table. You both walk into the cafeteria, which is similarly noisy with excitement caused by the announcement. Well, we just said to Maya that we'd sit with Maya. So I don't think we can not sit with Maya. That would be really mean. <laughs> we basically said to our friend, we'll sit with you. And then we come in and we're like, who should we sit with? Emily, Drew, Nalana, Maya, Ke Kiana. I mean, we did just say to Maya, we'll sit with them. It would feel really rude to sit somewhere else. I don't know if that's just me though. <laughs> should we sit with Maya like we said, or should we sit with someone else? give chat a little moment and well chat's having a little moment I'm gonna put a little a little channel points thing into the chat and I'm gonna put in a posture fix yeah so that everybody has to straighten up their back and fix their posture wherever they're sitting so that they're nice and comfortable <laughs> I know, I'd feel so bad sitting with someone else. We'll, we'll sit with Maya, right? I think we should all sit with Maya. Let's sit with Maya. You follow Maya over to a table. What was up with that super weird announcement this morning, though? I know, right? As if we really have any superheroes. But what kind of creepy dude threatens a whole school of kids? I'm so glad that we're all at like, guests. Sit with Maya, our friend Maya, who's awesome and we all love. <laughs> It won't be long before one of the mums finds them and kicks some pelvises. Oh my god, so true. With like a slipper just wailing on him. Fear my scrutiny. Oh, 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 stop hitting me. Haha, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Who would, who could it have been though? Don't only like two people have access to the, to the PA. Hmm, true. You don't strike me as having a bunch of skeletons as friends type. Principal Dalmers is too busy working on that canvas in his office. I couldn't imagine him accidentally getting soil in his pants, so getting soil in his paints set after raising a skeleton. 
I totally could. <laughs> and over here we're just going to add some earthy tones using dirt from the crypt. And over here we're going to paint some happy little tombstones. <laughs> oh my god, you kill me. That's too funny. <laughs> yeah. The bell rings and you both have a goodbye and wander off to the next class. Later, Kumo, you gokester. Oh, that was really cute actually, just getting to hang out with our friend. That was really nice. That felt really sweet. You wander into the classroom of your final class for the day. Today's another short day for you. You watch as the teacher scribbles some details onto the board about a group assignment. As part of our public speaking module, we've set up an assignment. Students will choose their own pairs, then write and rehearse a one minute speech on any topic they like. Then together they will practice by performing the speech to each other. Then tomorrow you will all present your speeches to the class. Take some time now to form into your pairs and discuss your plans. Look around the room, you see a few faces that you recognise that might be a good choice for this project. Who are you going to ask to be your partner? We have Kiana, Sophie, Molly and June. We have a choice again, oh my goodness. Something I'm very bad at making. So we have Kiana who lives with the alien girl. We have Sophie who I once again cannot remember who that is. We have Molly who's our demon girl. And we have June who I'm pretty sure is the one that has the sword. It's very hard to remember. <laughs> I know, so many choices. Hmm. If we sit with Molly, we're already pretty good friends with Molly when they were a partner last time. But if we sit with Kiana, we might get to know more about her and the alien girl, which is interesting. If we sit with Sophie, I'll remember who Sophie is. <laughs> and if we sit with Gyun, we might get to know more about this weird sword that they have. Hmm. So who do we want to be our partner for a one minute poem or little like speech? I wonder if we should maybe do Sophie because I don't remember who Sophie is. Let's let's pick Sophie because I don't remember who Sophie is. <laughs> Decide to approach Sophie for the project. Hey Sophie. Hey. Oh Sophie's the girl looks like the girl from the Killing and Relaxing Beats. That's who Sophie is. Did you want to work together on the homework project? Sure. Oh, she's called Sophie like that because it's a lo-fi joke. Cause she's got the she's, she's the girl from the lo-fi video on YouTube. Oh my god, I just realised. Oh, I feel so stupid. I can't believe it took me that long to realise. She's the girl from that like chilling, relaxing lo-fi beats like playlist that's always playing on YouTube. So they made her name Sophie, but it's Sophie. Like lo-fi. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, I can't believe it took me that long to realise that joke. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I can't believe it took me that long to realise that joke. Oh no. I know, I didn't... I can't believe I didn't realise straight away. Oh, I'm I'm gonna be <laughs> I'm gonna be mad about this. <laughs> I'm gonna be mad at myself about this for the next few days. I'm gonna be like, why didn't I realize sooner? That's a good joke. Whoever made this game, the people who made this game are really really funny and very very smart. Oh, I feel so silly. <laughs> I'm free after this. Yeah, same. We can do that. What top What topic were you thinking of doing? Oh, we could do any topic we want. Let's do anime anime i wouldn't have guessed i think i might do music or singing or something the bell rings and most of the students begin to pack up to leave music because she's the lo-fi girl oh my god <laughs> now we're seeing the references everywhere i feel so silly ready to go yeah let's go it's such a nice afternoon it's crazy to think that we graduate pretty soon yeah i know no one even talks about it. Any idea what you'll do after graduation? Yeah, with the Bob Ross uh, reference with the teacher with the dirt in his paint. Yeah, <laughs> with the happy little tombstones. <laughs> this game is so good. I really, I mentioned it before, but the game has a webcomic and a board game coming out. I, I need to read the webcomic and see if the webcomic is this good. 
because it's it, this is really fun and really cute and the references are really funny <laughs> any idea what you'll do after graduation my mom, my mom wants me to take my mom my mom wants to take me traveling had a whole moment there she was born in france but i've never been she wants me to go and travel around europe for a while with her wow that's amazing are you excited yes but also nervous i've never really left town you know this is a huge change and it's not a small trip either i'm getting the hint lately that she wants to move us there for a while i don't know if i'm ready for that wow that's heavy what about you though i'm still figuring it out i'll probably take some time to figure out what i want to chase after traveling does sound pretty nice honestly Maybe I'll sneak you along in my luggage. Please do. <laughs> well, this is my place. My parents are probably still at work. Let's try and sneak up to my room. This is your room? I haven't really put any effort into decorating. Mum put some stuff in here when we moved in, so it wasn't so drab. I haven't bothered to change it. I just set the computer most of the time anyway. That's fair enough. My room's a huge mess in, in comparison. You have to wear you have to wear mountain hiking boots to climb over the piles of clothing. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> so the project. Oh yeah. Let me fire up the computer and I'll take some notes. What top what topic do you think I should do it on? Hmm. Something easy to talk about. Probably something that you're really into. Maybe something about travelling might help you get more used to the idea. Could do some research. That's a cool idea. Maybe ask mum what kind of places we'll be visiting. Yeah, that's a good plan. What about you? I'm not sure. I initially thought about doing anime, but I don't know if that's a good idea. Maybe I'll do something different. You should totally pick something you're passionate about though. I'm sure there's something that you're totally enthusiastic about. Computer games is what Ma Maya and I uh, mostly hang out and do together. Then do that! Isn't that a little boring for some people? The project isn't for them. It's supposed to be something that you're passionate about. I guess that's true. Sounds like you're sorted then. Oh wow, it's already gotten pretty late. I should really head home. Oh yeah, okay. See you at school tomorrow? Yeah. Get home safe. Aw, oh, they seemed really nice. I'm so sad that I forgot who they were. Now that I know that their name's the lo-fi thing, I will remember. I will remember who they are. <laughs> I promise. <laughs> you manage to slip up to your room quietly and turn on the computer. Kumo, is that you? Yeah, mum. Just got home. Your mum comes up into the room to check on you. Hey, I haven't seen you in a while. You've been busy, huh? Yeah. Sophie came over to work on a homework assignment. We have to work on some silly public speaking thing. Very busy then. Oh, I heard about that weird announcement this morning. From one of the other mums? Oh yeah, I bet the mum group chat is blowing up about that. Most of them think it's nonsense, but others are scared of anything, so who's to say? Do you know any of do you know of any superheroes at your school? Do I need to be worried about supervillains attacking or something? Oh, Oh no, I don't know what to say. <laughs> I don't, I'm not, we're not going to out June. We're not going to, or Willow, we're not going to out Willow. Because we said to Willow we'd keep her secret. So we won't out Willow. I don't think we should out Molly, because Molly's trying to hide the fact that they're a demon. But June does just carry around a big sword. I feel like we should say, does June's big sword count as a superpower? Because June is literally just walking around with a giant, like, sword. So that people can see. But it's me, Mom. I'm a superhero is a good joke too. The last one for memes. That's the last one for memes. It's me, Mom. I am a superhero. Oh yeah? What are your powers? Um, My superpower is knowing that I'm the protagonist in a video game? You play too many video games. That's actually a really good <laughs> joke. I like that. I'm pretty sure the announcement is just a hoax. Maybe it's a prank leading up to a superhero themed prom. They haven't announced the prom theme yet, but maybe I'm onto them. 
If I'm kidnapped, take lots of photos of your outfit for me. Mom. All right, all right, I'll leave you alone. Want me to bring up some food? Did you eat? Yes, please. Thanks, Mum. Eventually, you decide to climb into bed. Tomorrow will surely be weirder than today. Come on. Grogu, you open your eyes and stare at the ceiling for a moment. Come on. You roll to one side and see that your alarm clock isn't supposed to go off for a while yet. Yeah? Your mum opens the door to your room and stares at you from the doorway. It turns out that after the mum group chat blew up last night, someone had a wing to the principal. They're declaring it a terrorist threat until they can figure out what really happened. That's a bit much. What? What's more is they're expecting us to all homeschool until it's resolved. But you know I can't do that sweetie, I have to be at work. They set up a buddy system. So you can go and work and study with a friend or something. That seems easy enough. I guess I'll see if Maya hasn't paired with someone yet. There's a big parent meeting on tonight, so I'll be home late. Ah, we have some people in chat who couldn't be in chat. Give me two seconds, guys. <laughs> I'm going to get rid of some people in chat who couldn't be in chat. Let's see if I can get rid of these. How do I get rid of these? Me being bad at moderating. <laughs> How do I get rid of this messy? Let's see. First and foremost, let's ban them, and that should do it. Yeah. We do not put up with people trying to advertise stuff in our chat. Don't get caught on scams, guys. We love you, and we don't want you guys to get scammed by anyone. So we'll get back into the game. Sorry about people trying to scam and chat. <laughs> After run, see you tonight. And don't just play video games all day, okay? Love you. Bye. You call out an I love you and she hurries out the house. Slowly you drag yourself out of bed and flick off the alarm clock so it doesn't go off later. Slide into your desk chair and you power up your computer. Logging in, you see a message from Maya. Just got the news about being stuck at home. I hope that we can get to choose, but we might, we might just be made to go with Maya. I'm just going to stay home and grind for loot for the store. Kiana asked me for your number, hope that's okay. You probably could, could have guessed Maya was going to take advantage of the time at home. It's unexpected that Kiana wanted to get in touch. A rumbling in your stomach tells you breakfast is the new priority. Flooding down the stairs, you raid the kitchen for your regular cereal. Looks like mum left some food in the fridge for you too. The sitting at the kitchen table, your phone rings. Hello? Hey Kumo. I forgot how pretty they were. <laughs> oh no, I forgot how pretty they were. I think we might either be made to go with Kiana or we get to choose. But I was thinking it would make us go with Maya, but it's just saying basically Maya's busy with video games. Hey Kiana. Did you hear about the study buddy thing already? Yeah, I was going to pair up with Willow. But her parents are taking it really seriously and took time off to homeschool her. I was having a big vent to Maya about how silly the whole thing is and she said that you'd probably be free today. Did you want to buddy up? Well, we get to choose if we want to play video games or buddy up with her. I think we should buddy up with her. I don't think we should skip. I think we should definitely buddy up with her. Let's buddy up. Awesome. Did you want to come to my place? Yeah, sure. Give me a little bit and I'll head over. Cool. I'll send you my address, just in case. See you then. You keep absentmindedly munching on your breakfast, occasionally wondering about what today is going to be like. Throwing on some clothes, you head out to Kiana's place. When you get there, Kiana's in the garage with the door open doing some light exercise. She guides you into the living room and you both get comfortable on the couch. I don't know if I actually want to do any studying today. I'm all weirded, wired up now that everything is going weird. I totally get that. There's this big meeting for all the parents this afternoon. Some big cafe in the city. Mum's going to be home late because of it. She wasn't very happy about it. 
I'm supposed to discuss what the plan what the plan is going forward. That's a worry. Do you expect there Do you expect there to be more time at home like this? Do you expect there to be more time at home like this? What about the exams? I'm not sure, maybe. I'm more worried one of my friends might get hurt because of this. Yeah, that makes sense. That same kind of witch hunt where they won't believe that we're not superheroes or whatever. Exactly. I wish there was something we could do. We could probably try and investigate and figure out who was the one that made the announcement. That's a good idea. Where could we even start? Well, the school's going to be empty tonight. Maybe there's some clues there. Surveillance? Surveillance footage? I can't say that word. I knew that word was going to come, but I can't say that word. Surveillance footage? There you go. Surely there's something in the principal's office that could give us a clue. I think I know just who we need to get the surveillance, surveillance, surveillance footage and get out. Kiana reaches into her pocket and starts texting away. Who? Maya. If we can get her in, into the principal's office, she can get the footage off the computer and get out faster than anyone. Yeah, that's true for sure. She's in. It took no convincing. <laughs> she must be thinking the same thing we are. I wouldn't be surprised if all the students are. Well, we've got a few hours before we meet up with Maya. What do you want to do? Study or have any board games? Should we actually study? <laughs> or should we play some board games? <laughs> we could play some board games and get to know them better. Or we could study and pass our exams. Those are our choices. <laughs> hmm, I wonder. I wonder. Hmm, let's let's play board games because we said we don't weren't in the mood to study. I know that feeling, me too. We said they weren't in the mood to study. And I wasn't in the mood to study either as a character. So maybe have some board games. Study this time. Study we got two studies, let's study. That sounds so boring. I feel so restless. I want to get to go for a walk or something. We could go to the woods. It's pretty near the school for when we met for for when we meet Maya. That sounds great. Give me one sec to grab some stuff. The game won't let us study. We said study, the game won't let us study. <laughs> you wait while Kiana grabs a few things for tonight and puts on some walking shoes. It doesn't take long for you to walk across the small town and into the edge of the forest trail. Oh, Kiana has a tattoo. I absolutely love Kiana's tattoo, it's gorgeous. This was a good idea. I'm just feeling a bit overwhelmed. Yeah, kinda. I'm worried about my friends. I'm worried about how mom's going to panic about the whole thing. These are very valid worries. She doesn't need to worry any more than she already does. Since dad's been deployed for the last few months, things have been stressful for her. Game really did say no. Game was like, nah, it's tough having him away. I bet. We're going to find out who made the announcement. Maya's going to crack the whole thing wide open and we'll be able to go back to just worrying about normal things like exams and prom. Prom! How are we supposed to go to prom if we're all not even at the school for the last few weeks? I was looking forward to it. And maybe having someone cute to ask me to it. Wear a fancy dress. It's all going to happen, don't worry. Kiana sighs and leans up against a tree. Thanks, Kumo. Things are a bit stressful at the moment. I appreciate you listening to me rant like this. No worries, I totally get it. You hear Kiana's phone buzz from her pocket. Maya just texted me to meet her at the parking garage near the, fro near the front office. I've never been in, here, in there before. It's not that far from here. You and Kiana walk the short distance to the school grounds and spot the entrance to the parking garage in the distance. Game saying no study. Game's like, no, no study. Not gonna happen. You can see Maya's familiar bright yellow coat and she stands as she stands near the entrance. You all quietly wave to each other as you get closer. Then you all slip inside and cling to the side wall, pausing for a moment to check out the area. 
There's still a few cars here. It means we might bump into someone who'll get us into trouble. Or worse, the person we're looking for. Maybe. Kiana, Kiana and I will help keep help you keep a lookout. Worst case, I'll make a distraction to help you get out. What's important is getting Maya into the office and then out safely. Exactly. How do we get in? Isn't there a lock or something? There's an, there's an electronic lock. Oh, easy then. Huh? I have a thing for that. Right. Come on then. With what seems like just a touch of her hand, Maya opened the door and you all slipped quietly inside. There doesn't seem to be anyone around. Shh, someone's coming. In here, come on. You all shuffle into an empty classroom and wait for the footsteps to subside. You peek out into the corridor and see there's no one around. Come on, let's go. Linking up the corridor, you find the principal's office. You've only been in here once before, but everyone knows where it is. Piling into the empty office, you close the door behind you quietly. All right, I'll get started. Keep an eye on the corridor through the window. Got it. Kumo, see if you can see the security cam live feed. It might be easier to keep a lookout. You walk over to the desk across the big room. Maya's already set up looking through the co computer files. Here, you can see it on the screen. Most of the corridors are empty. There's only one car left in the garage. This is going to take a little bit to download all the footage from that day. If I just open it on the computer, they'll know someone was looking at this time. Right. How long? Maybe 10 minutes? Anything at the door? Looks clear. Kiana presses an ear to the door to check for noises. Quiet too. Okay, we're done. Let's get out of here. Heading for the exit, you hear the footsteps again. Quick, in here! Hmm, I swear I heard something. After waiting for a moment, you manage to successfully escape. You all head back to Maya's place. Phew, that was a close one. Yeah. You watch Maya plug her laptop into one of her computers. Maya's room looks so cool. <laughs> Can we take a moment to appreciate Maya's super, like, aesthetic room? Kiana sits down on the bed and you sit next to her. Too close. Did you manage to get anything useful? It was during the first class, right? Yeah. Hmm, the room's empty for that whole hour? What does that mean? Well, maybe they did it remotely? So we've got nothing. Well, not nothing. Just not the answer. I know, Maya's aesthetic room is really making me jealous too. It's so pretty. God dang it. It's alright. I'm sure we'll still figure it out. We've been careless as- Would have been careless of them to let it be this easy. You're right. I might be able to turn something up for some time. We might get lucky yet. For now, let's just go home. Good idea. Kiana heads on out. Thanks for coming tonight. It's good to have backup. You were going to go by yourself? I was thinking about it. Once I heard about everyone's parents were once I heard that everyone's parents were going out to this thing, I was worried it was really bad. I know how rough it still is for me having lost my parents, and I don't want any of our friends or families to be in danger. Ah, yes, her her jacket is also very aesthetic. <laughs> Killjoy from Valorant. Ah, very cool. That might be a reference. It could actually be a reference. I mean, they're a gamer. So that would make sense if that was a reference to Valorant. I totally get it. And I'll keep whatever I can. And I'll help wh wherever I can. I'll keep whatever I can. I'm not going to steal stuff from your room. I got your back. Thanks, Kumo. You're the best. You should go. Mum will hassle me. Yeah, of course. I'll check on Kiana at some point too. Good idea. Make sure you get something to eat too. Of course, it's pizza night. Nice. Alright, I'm out of here. I'll message you when I get home. We can hop into a raid or something. Yeah, maybe I'll probably be trying to work this thing out. 
No worries, let me know. Of course. You head down the stairs and slip past the convenience store onto the street. You don't see Kiana anywhere. She must have gotten home already. Walking home, everything is eerily quiet. You wonder how the big parents meeting went. Hopefully the sheriff or something is at least trying to find this weird person. So, surely a threat against a school is something taken seriously. I wonder if the big parent meeting wasn't actually held by the school and if maybe it's the bad guy now it has all appearance. Hmm, I wonder. Even a weird school like yours. You better hurry home, mum is probably waiting. It's because they said the street was eerily quiet? So I'm wondering. You get home and it's pretty late. You can see your dad's car is parked out front, but all the lights are off. Everyone must be asleep already. Quietly you sneak up to your room and turn the computer on. Maya messages you, messages you as soon as you get online. Hey Kumo. That new girl Molly added me while we were out. I, I, I've just been chatting with her while I was waiting for you to get home and she's pretty cool. We should all hang out more. I've enjoyed the time I've had, I've enjoyed the time I've had the chance to talk to her. She's definitely interesting. It must be tough transferring to a new school. Yeah, we should try and bring her along on our weird adventures. Sounds good. What are you doing tomorrow? I'm just going to stay home, honestly. I'm pretty invested in trying to figure out who this is. Figuring this all out. Not just for my peace of mind, but for Kiana's as well. Hopefully I'll find something that we can all follow up on. Good luck. I should go to sleep. Mum's always hassling me about keeping up at keeping about you keeping me up at night playing games. So she should. I'm a bad influence on you. <laughs> you don't get bags under your eyes like mine unless you're skipping out on beauty sleep, which you so desperately need. <laughs> Why do you hate me, Maya? Go to bed. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> Text me if anything shows up. Will do. You power down the computer and sit in the darkness letting your mind go blank. It takes a moment before you find the focus to actually crawl into bed. What a weird couple of days. Your dreams are weird and hard to remember. You find yourself wandering around the woods, lost. Your shoes catch on every root and rock. Your step in a puddle and your socks get wet. Everywhere you look seems unfamiliar. A bright being entrances you. You feel relaxed, safe. You shake yourself awake from the weird dream. It's already light out. You can hear your parents talking downstairs. It takes a while for you to summon the strength to stand up so they don't think the parents were kidnapped. I was just like, ooh, it's quiet and there's no parents and mmm. Gregory, you walk down the stairs to grab some breakfast. Morning, sleepyhead. Are you excited from are you excited for some homeschooling today? I what? I'm just kidding, we both have to work. Did you have anything fun planned for today? Not yet, I'm still waking up. Up late again? She looks at you very pointedly as if she knew the answer. Just a big day. Sounds like you've been busy lately. So much excitement going on in this tiny town. Your mother was just telling me about the parent-teacher meeting. Some crazy stuff happening lately. Yeah, a little. My friends are kind of worried about it. It's confusing to know who is actually being threatened. Or if the announcement was just someone mad. Who knows, the whole thing sounds ridiculous to me. If we had super superheroes in this town, I'd feel a lot safer. Nothing really happens here anyway. It's not like we're in some big city with lots of crime. For someone to swing down and stop a mugging or whatever. We all know we've all known each other we all know each other, and I'm surprised we don't know who they're talking about. The parent-teacher meeting was mostly fear-mongering and hysteria. I'm not really worried, but I want you to try and be safe, Kumo, okay? Yeah, of course. There's a knock at the door unexpectedly. Your dad gets up to answer and you look to see a familiar face at the door. Uh, hey, is Kumo in? Your dad turns and points to you. Someone here for you, Kumo. Is this your girlfriend? Oh shush, Howard. Don't embarrass Kumo any more than needed. Hey, Willow. I'll come out, just give me a second. You rush upstairs and pack a bag quickly and come back down. Going out to study? Yep. You stay, you stay over your shoulder as you rush out. You both quickly walk down the path and into the woods, wooded area behind your school. Oh, behind your house. 
behind the house, not behind the school. <laughs> Sorry if that was awkward. I was walking along here and spotted you through the back window. I thought I might invite you along if that's okay. Yeah, it's totally fine. I hadn't planned anything for today yet. I talked to Maya this morning when I got up and she said you two weren't doing anything today. So when I saw you through the window, I thought I'd go and ask. It's cool. What's the plan for today? There's a particular plant that I'm looking for. And I haven't seen one yet, but I'm told that it grows further up the mountain here. I'm hoping that I can get some to grow in a pot in my place. Yeah, okay. Shouldn't be too difficult. Kiana was going to come with me, but she didn't re reply when I messaged her. I hope she's okay. She's just mad at this whole situation and frustrated with not being able to do anything about it. I think we all are. It doesn't make any sense that someone would go after a bunch of students like this. Exactly. Anyway, a nice hike up the mountain is probably the perfect way to take our minds off of it. Good point. You both start walking up towards the summit and the uphill climb taking a lot of energy out of you, but you don't show it. I've always enjoyed walking through here. It's just so far away from the concrete wasteland of our town. The birds chirp to each other and the trees make, an, make the air feel so fresh. It's so weird to me that people could want to cut down so many places like this. It's all about greed, really. Did you catch that movie, I Cure Slick, Slicker? I Cure Slicker? The one Maya was talking about so much? That's the one. It's her favourite movie, uh -huh. But basically, a giant monster is created because humans continually prioritise money over other things over each other and the well-being of the planet and I cure slicker the monster specifically hunts businessmen and really greedy people I think you'd like it is it scary I don't think so not really maybe we should watch it sometime then definitely I think you'd like it oh look we're nearly at the peak that was quick let's just stop here for a minute I'm not sure which direction to go looking in just yet, and I could use a minute to catch my breath. Yeah, sure. I thought you were homeschooling with your parents this week. How did you manage to get a chance to go out hiking with, like today? My parents are super into nature. It's kind of where I picked up from. I just asked if I could have some time to meditate in the woods, and they enthusiastically encouraged it. I really just wanted a break from school stuff. It's all so much right now. Yeah, I understand. The other thing is that I'm worried about my little friend here. I've been looking after him for a while and I think it's because the forest is slowly no longer safe for the forest spirits. I love the little friend. Oh my goodness. Oh no, they're so cute. I love them. Oh my god, they're so cute. I absolutely love them. Sorry, I was just taking a drink. Oh my goodness. He came to me to try and get my help. And I'm not sure what to do. Looking at the little spirit in her hand, you remember your dream from this morning. And you wander and you wander around the woods. You don't know if it's relevant, so you don't bring it up. Well I'm definitely here to help. Thanks, Gimel. Ready to keep going? Yeah, I'm good. I'm not sure which way. How about you stop and take a look around to get a good feel of which way you think is best. Hmm, this way. Sure, sounds good. You both start hiking across the clearing, watching the trees get thicker and closer together as you move deeper into the forest. Hear that? Hmm? There's different birds singing now. Huh. You know a lot about birds. I just hear a lot of them singing from my room, so I know the ones that sing in the morning. But I've been into the woods a few times and I like to sit and listen to them sing. They always sound so happy and energetic. Yeah, I suppose so. What exactly are we looking for around here? Hmm, it's like a greeny yellow mushroom? Okay, so I should be looking by my feet. Just don't bump into anything. Aha! Uh -huh. Mushrooms, mushrooms. I don't think we're far enough in yet. Hmm, what's that by your sock? You feel your entire body become heavy and you slump over into a sleep. You hear Willow pull out to you, but you can't move. 
You feel fast asleep, but you're also slightly aware of what's happening around you. Oh no, what's happened to us? Oh no, what's happened to us? You think that Willow is still nearby, but you can't hear her. It feels like you're being carried somewhere. No, more like floating somewhere. Flying somewhere? Am I dead? You are not dead. Whoa, what the? I've been following you for a while. Normally you sleep too lightly for me to properly converse with you. Your mom scolding your mom scolding for staying up late all the time plays in your mind. Exactly. You can read my thoughts. If I couldn't, I would have to physically be behind your eyelids. Ah, uh, I am a friend and a guide to you in the coming days. Everything's about to change and I'll do what I can to help you. I will be here for you when you need me, but for now, have some strawberry. Strawberry? You don't quite wake up immediately, but you can feel the world coming back to you. You hear Willow's voice calmly talking to someone you don't recognise. You smell something weird, something like herbal tea. Your heavy eyelids finally open slowly and you find yourself in a weird place. Kumo, you're finally waking up. I was worried. I love this. I need to take a moment because I love this. I absolutely love this. Oh my goodness, we're in a mushroom. We're over in like a tree with lots of mushrooms and the little forest people. Oh my god, I love them. Oh no, I love- oh, that's a big strawberry. Looking around, you see several confusing things and have many questions. Sorry about the sleep spell, I wasn't sure if you were a threat. Sleep spell? Willow here really fought to convince me that you could be trusted. I could sense your power from when you entered the forest. Power? You're new to this too, I take it. Take some tea and have some fresh strawberry. Once you wake up a bit, I'll explain. Strawberry? The big green thing with which you can only assume is a forest bear offers you a mug of tea. It warms your hands to hold it and the smell is calming. I am Peaky. Peaky? 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 The forest guardian. This is so cute. I know I'm having the time of my life. <laughs> Willow has been Willow has been taking care of me for some of taking care of one of our spirits for some time. So we've had a chance to become comfortable amongst each other. This little guy is Topi. Pecky helped me be able to understand what he's saying. But you, Kumo, I was surprised to see you. And as you can imagine, forest spirits don't like to be surprised by humans. Um sorry? It is not something to apologize for. You are not a representative of your people, but you must forgive us for being cautious. I assume you are brimming with questions. Uh, I have so many questions, but I, I do care about the little green guy. I think we should ask if he's okay. Let's see if Topi, Topi, Topi's a cute name too. Let's see if Topi's going to be okay. Because they're a very cute little person. What do you mean? Topi is fine. But weren't we trying to find you because we were worried about Topi being okay? It turns out that Topi was sent to me to help guide me to find Pecky. Peaky. Pecky. Okay. I don't know how to pronounce this. I'm just going to keep pronouncing it how I think it sounds. <laughs> I was hoping to meet. I was hoping to meet Willow. Our being friends will be important in the f in the future. The future? Yes. Uh, I do want to know where we are, but I want to know what happens in the future. Lots of things. Yes. We're all in great danger. Because of the announcement? Not exactly. That is more my fault. The danger isn't here for some time yet. Your fault? You did this to us? No, no. Which is why you'll find strong friends with no reason to be here. Now live here. I think I accidentally skipped something. Let's go back to the history and see what's mentioned. Oh no. 
Oh, there we go. Seeing the potential destruction of our planet, I have been slowly drawing powerful allies to me. Okay, so that's what you're asking. Which is why you'll find strong friends with no reason to be here now live here. However, in summoning power, one cannot know if they are good or evil. The risk of bringing evil here is a necessary one, as we must assemble all the good if we are able to, sur if we are to survive. This immediate danger I have brought, I do apologize for, but it was needed. And I will be a good chance for you all to test your power. Uh, I should probably ask where are we because I've not asked that yet and that'd be a good thing to know. But also, we've already asked is Toby going to be okay. But what power? And what's coming in the future? Okay, where are we? We're in a secret part of the forest. Atop the trees, we share our homes of the bark. Most people would wander right by and not see us. Our glamours keep us safe. Glamour? It's something that stops humans from noticing something even if they're looking right into it. That seems oddly familiar. So now we know where we are. We know that Toby's going to be okay. So what power or what's coming in the future? Let's find out what this power is first. Kumo, it's kind of a secret, but my parents are both druids. They can do nature magic, and I can too. I don't think I'm the person from the announcement, and I don't know that I'm a superhero, but I have magic powers. You do too, Kumo, as best as I can tell. To do what? <laughs> Only you could know. Eventually, you will find out. How? I guess I was lucky that my parents have been through the same thing, so they encouraged me. Do you know if your parents have magical powers? Maybe you should ask them about it. Okay, what's coming in the future? Or did, was that the one that they answered? I'm gonna ask this, this might be a repeat. But I'm gonna ask this again if I repeat, then we'll move on. The future is difficult to see, but Al Anna's arrival is the beginning. Oh, Alana's name's actually Al Anna. What do you mean? Do you mean Alana? Oh, okay, I skipped something again there. She fell out of the sky. She what? Al Anna isn't from this planet. We called it chat. Yeah, we knew she was an alien. High five to chat. <laughs> we called it. Okay. She. This is a lot. She said she's from Taldria. Correct. She came here running from a great threat. Her mother, the queen, is dead. And a great evil is coming to get her, the princess, so that a new king may sit upon their throne. Well, we have to protect her, right? Regardless of if she's safe, we might all die. Our planet is in danger, as she is the beacon for it. It will take all of our strength to defend it. This is what I have seen, and why I have tried so hard to bring you all here. Oh my goodness, so much is happening. I can't believe we called it. She's an alien, and a super cute alien. Oh my goodness. And we have a friend who's a druid. <laughs> we have really cool and interesting friends, it turns out. I also have a friend that's an alien. And a friend who I guess would fall into the category of druid too. Hmm. Let's, I don't know what to do. Of course not. But in time, you will. We're all important. But for now, don't dwell on it. A watch kettle never boils, hmm? Peaky refills your tea, and the warmth amongst your fingers helps stop your mind from spinning. We should just focus on finishing school for now, and look out for our friends. This is a good idea. You won't uncover all your secrets in a day. It is best that you focus on building relationships with your friends. We are all here for a purpose. And we will, and I will be here when I am needed, and so will you. Ah, uh, okay. 
It will be. Are you okay, Kumo? It's a lot to take in. And I always thought I was different. But now I know. But still don't have any clarity on it. I'll be okay. I guess I just need to wait until it all comes together. You can talk to me about it anytime you need. Thanks. I just... Can we go? Yeah, of course. I'll come back soon. Looking forward to it. Keep Topi safe. He'll look after you. Of course. Peaky helps you down out of the tree, which feels like being picked up by a giant and placed onto the ground. You both awkwardly wave at the twee, at the twee, at the twee, at the tree, but you can't see anything up there. For a while, you both hike down the mountain quietly. Look over at Willow, who seems to be worried about you. I'm going to be okay. You don't need to worry about me. Are you sure? It's good news, right? I have superpowers or whatever. I just have no idea what they are. I'm sure it'll come to you eventually. In the movies, it's usually through some great struggling that it comes first. It comes out, right? Maybe this stuff with the announcement is your chance to find out. I guess that makes sense. I'll probably be for the best if we can just go back to being normal students for a while. We don't want to be accused of being heroes, especially if you aren't. Yeah, that's true. You walk for a while in silence, just ruminating. Willow stops you for a second and puts her hand on your back, gently rubbing it. It's going to be okay. And I'm going to be here for you. Thanks, Willow. I guess it helps to have someone who understands. Just call me anytime if you need to talk or anything, okay? Sure. This is my place here. I'm going to go just play some games and zone out. Oh, okay. I'll see you around. Message me later, okay? Yeah. You pause for a moment to watch her walk away before heading into your place. It doesn't seem like anyone is home, so you slip up to your room and sit at your desk. You load up some Castle of Cali Rocks to just mindlessly grind some levels. Maya spots you online while you're playing and comes and joins you. Hey! I convinced Molly to download Cali Rock. Do you mind starting a new character so we can play through together? Oh yeah, sure. I'll invite her to the chat. One sec. Hey, can you hear me? Yeah, looks like you're in. Did you create a character yet? Yeah, just now. I picked a big muscly dude. I haven't loaded into a game yet. That's okay, we need to make a server to play on together anyway. Kumo, is it okay if we just use the normal one? Yeah, we can take some gear or use the stables if we want to speed along, I guess. Can we just take it really, really slow? This is my first time playing something this complex. I know, I love this art style so much too. Oh, I love it. It's absolutely beautiful. And these characters are gorgeous as well. This story is great. I'm sorry, I'm just so hyped about this game. And the fact that it has, uh, there's a web comic or like a, a, a comic that comes along with it and a, a board game coming for it sounds amazing. It sounds amazing. Yeah, of course. The stables give us a horse that will be your new best friend and it'll cut you, it'll cut out some of the boring walking around time. Okay, I've just got the details. Uh, I just got the details you sent and I'm logging in now. You load into a fresh game with a new character. Because you finish off the late game content, you've got a few cosmetic items that make you like a king. Okay, I'm in. So wait, I can get my own horse and name it and stuff? Yeah, and pat it and feed it fancy stuff and it will carry your things for you too. This looks like Stardew Valley. <laughs> oh my goodness, the game. <laughs> this is the best game ever. <laughs> it's pretty good. It's not much to look at, but there's so much to do. Maya and I play it most nights. She spends so much time in dungeons just looking for rare items and getting levels without me. I just want to play with the horsey. Oh, there you are. If you follow me over here, here's our little starting settlement. And if you go into the little barn type thing, you can pick out a horse. Oh, there's a pretty black one. I shall name you Princess. Nice. <laughs> Molly watches in awe as Maya's character plays a flute and a flaming ghost horse climbs out of the ground from a sudden, a sudden flaming staircase. This is Siegebreaker. 
friends call her B. Woo! Should we get should we ride through the forest to the first town? Yeah, okay. Just catch just watch out for the bandits. They'll try and shoot arrows at your horse. The what? This is the most stressful game ever. You end up playing Cal Calorox with Ma Molly and Maya for most of the afternoon. Molly eventually gets the hang of the game, but still tries to talk to everyone, including bandits, knife drawn. Together you make the beginning of a base to use together, but mostly to leave stuff for Molly to use. Including a nice place for Princess to rest. Aw, oh, my parents got home and I have to go do some stuff. Will you be on to play tomorrow? Yeah, and if I'm not, message me and I'll come join. Awesome. You two are the best. Alright, catch you later. You want to switch to our mains and keep grinding for the fortress upgrade? It's supposed to be a dragon raid this weekend. I want to get the catapults ready for. Nah, I'm gonna take a break. Maybe just lie down for a little while. Are you okay? That's unusual for you. Yeah, just a really big day. I think I need to just get some sleep. Yeah, okay. I'll be around if you come back on. Yeah, I'll catch you later. You stare at the blank screen, blank screen in the dark while your computer installs some updates before shutting down. Crawling over and laying on the bed, you stare at the sun sunlight and you stare out the sunlight into the sky. Oh, the the window. Okay, into the sky. I know it makes me want to play Stardew Valley too. <laughs> <laughs> it's so pretty. The stars twinkle as usual. You wonder which of these is the star Al 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 Alana is from. I know her name's her Al Anna, so my brain wants to say that. <laughs> and what kind of trouble she could possibly have brought? Or worse, what kind of trouble she could be in? You wonder about many things, including who you really are and what's going to happen from now on. There's still so much that you don't know. Oh my goodness, is that where it ends? Ah, I knew it was early access, so I had a feeling it wouldn't be super long. Thanks for playing. Unfortunately, this is as far as the demo goes for now, but you can replay it about four times to see all the unique dialogue. We are planning on adding much more content in the future, but we need your support. We'd love to have you join us in our Discord server. There's a link to that in the main menu. Have a look at the milestone tab to see which events you haven't completed yet. Oh, that's amazing. We get to see our milestones. What, what are our milestones? We have study with Alana. Study with Alana. And we have study with Sophie. Oh, amazing. We also have strawberry. Oh, strawberry was good. Oh, that was my favorite cutscene in a game ever. Or like a part in a game ever. Getting to sit with the forest spirits and their tree house and eat a giant strawberry. Oh, what, what a dream come true. Oh my goodness. I love that. And as I said, this is an early access, so there will be a final game at some point. And it's coming with it comes with a webcomic and a board game. I think the board game's still in the works, which is awesome. I need to look into the webcomic myself. The game is called Winning Love by Daylight. Uh, it's from Cutlass Cutlass Cutlass. Yes, Cutlass Board Games. It's from Cutlass Board Games. It is completely free to play at the current moment. I don't know if post uh, early access it will still be free to play, but at the moment it's completely free to play. So I do recommend checking it out if you can and supporting them. I will be joining their Discord <laughs> at some point. I think I'm trying to support them there if I can. I wonder about... Uh, I think they'll just open the webcomic. There's also merch for the game, which is awesome. And they also have a Patreon. So if you liked the game, maybe check them out and support them. And if you enjoyed the stream. <laughs> Me too. I can't wait to see more in the future. It's an absolutely lovely game. I really hope this gets the love and attention it deserves. As a beautiful piece of art. But if you are. Once again. New to this to this uh, beautiful channel here. And enjoyed the stream. Maybe subscribe or follow. Whatever is best for you. If you're a subscriber. We promise we're going to have some really cool emotes. And subscriber badges soon. We're currently working on that. If you want to find more of us, we have an Instagram, we have a TikTok, we have Facebook, we have all the social media and you can see videos, maybe some of our VODs from our streams, some videos about our conventions that we attend, 
clips and videos of our dance covers all over on our YouTube, which I will tag in the chat as the stream ends. You can also, of course, <laughs> support us at the coffee link that we have down below or by subscribing, doing channel bits and so on and so forth. We really hope to see you at events soon as the world starts to slowly reopen. And we really hope to see you next time we stream. Thank you so much to everyone who came along today. Thank you to those who subscribed. Thank you to those who followed. Thank you to those who just came in and had a nice kill time with us. And if you are wondering when we stream, we stream every Wednesday starting at 6pm and every Sunday starting at 2pm when that's Great British Mean Time. If you want to see it converted into your own time zones, you can find our schedule in our schedule area on Twitch and it will tell you your own time zones. If you have any recommendations for future streams or future games to play, please feel free to send them to us on our social media. And we really, really hope that you've enjoyed your stay at the cafe today. So for now, we'll say goodbye. Bye. Bye, everyone.